One thing that I never tell any of my students to do is to slow their swing down. Why would I want them to slow their swing down and hit the ball a shorter distance? It doesn't make any sense at all. And today I want to tell you why I feel that is, and more importantly, how you can help increase your club head speed by actually maybe increasing your tempo and increasing your rhythm. Now if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and be sure to leave a comment because this topic we're talking about, tempo, rhythm, swinging the club too fast, is, is something that I know a lot of people have strong opinions on. And so be sure to leave those in the comments because I love hearing from you. Leave a comment and we'll do our best to help each other out. Now, Here's the thing, we want to hit the ball as far as we can. That's one of the real enjoyments of the game and it's one of the things that helps us shoot good scores. So I want to give you a couple tips that are going to help you increase your club head speed and actually maybe increase your tempo. All right, so the first one that I want to talk a little bit about is where we have our weight positioned on our feet. Now, common teaching or a lot of instruction out there would say, when you're set up in there, you should have your feet balanced 50-50, so I've got 50% of my weight on my lead foot, I've got 50% of my trail foot. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think that you should have more weight on your lead foot. So if you've watched any of my videos before, all right, you know that we like a phrase called 60-40, meaning we've got 60% of our weight on our lead foot, 40% on our trail foot. Now why is that? Well, because we wanna have the initial takeaway take be what we call an unweighting. What I mean by that is if I have more weight pressure on my lead foot and I push that towards my trail foot, I'm getting some momentum. I'm starting to naturally build some rhythm and some tempo because I want to get that club going, right? I'm not going to slow down. I'm going to accelerate because I want to hit that golf ball as far as I possibly can. And the key to doing that is to start from a good position. So if I've got 60% here and I push it towards my trail foot, okay, the movement of that weight the movement of that momentum, the movement of that energy is what allows me to get some, get in a good backswing position and I can transfer that back towards the target. So that's tip number one. Start with more weight on your lead foot and push it towards your trail foot. That's a great tip that can help you not only improve your tempo, but increase your tempo and therefore increase your club head speed. All right, tip number two. Let's talk about the finish position. This is a simple one. All right, we're gonna kind of tie all this together here at the end. This is a simple one that you've probably heard before. It's been around forever. And that is that when you finish your swing, make sure that your knees are touching and your weight is on your lead foot, okay? That's a key component, all right? My weight is on my lead foot. I'm nice and balanced. Now, why is that important? Let's go back to tip number one. If I start left, right, and I push to the right, I'm a right-handed golfer, so I start left, push to the right, and where am I gonna push now? I'm gonna push left again. So I'm pushing left, and I'm finishing nice and balanced on my, on my lead foot. So it's the movement of the weight, it's the movement of the pressure, it's the movement of the energy that allows you to naturally increase your club head speed, i.e. increase your tempo. So when people say you've, you're getting too quick, what's really happening, it's not that you're too, how could you be too quick, <laughs> all right? I don't even know what that means. What they're probably trying to tell you is, is that the sequence is off. So it, it looks out of rhythm or out of place. It's like, it just doesn't seem to match up. And as I've already discussed, the main reason for that is probably because maybe you're starting on your back foot and you're staying there so you're, you don't know where to go or, or maybe you start on your lead foot and you stay in your lead foot, all types of things. So start left, push to the right, push to the left, and when you finish, make sure that your knees are touching and that you're in a good solid position. So those are the first couple things, a starting thought and a finishing thought. Now, let's talk a little bit about the overarching idea here. What is something that I can do that it can increase my tempo and then therefore increase my club head speed? So here's a tip that I like to give a lot of golfers, and that is to just take the club and simply elevate it. All right, so when you're, now you can do this with a driver for sure. It works wonders for a driver but you can also do it with an iron. So when you're set in there and you're holding the club, just have it ever so slightly up and off the ground, all right? I mean, it's maybe a quarter of an inch off the ground. Now, why is that important? Well, because when you're holding the club, you're bearing the weight of the club and that allows you to feel the club head and feel the rhythm and the tempo and the momentum. The minute I put the club on the ground, now the ground is bearing the weight. So my hands are feeling nothing now. 
Okay, I lift it off the ground ever so slightly. Now I can feel the, now I'm actually bearing the weight of the club. I can feel that. On the ground, I don't feel anything. I lift it ever so slightly. Now I can feel it. So what we're seeing here is, is that if we want to hit the golf ball further, increasing tempo and increasing club head speed is good. And the movement of the energy, the movement of the weight, whether it be from foot to foot to finish, or whether it be holding the momentum and the energy of the club and learning to feel that and move that, those are the things that are gonna not only improve your rhythm and improve your tempo, but as we've said a couple times already, help you increase your club head speed. Now, next time you head to the golf course, here's what you can do to just tie all this together. Now that you understand the concepts of like, all right, this is what I wanna do to hit good quality golf shots, good rhythm, good tempo, and hit it down the fairway, is a drill that I call left, right, left, right. Very simple. So you can see where we're going with this whole concept about rhythm and tempo, right? So you should know this already. When you set up, where's your pressure going to be? For me, it's left foot. So that's how I phrase the drill, left, lead foot, right? So it's left. Now where's it going to go? Notice I'm bearing the weight of the club. It's elevated, so I'm left. Now when I say right, pressure's on my right foot. Momentum of the club is where? Right side. Now where's it going to go? It's going left. Now it goes less, weight left, energy in the club left. And then I'm just gonna re repeat that. Right, left, right, left. And I'm literally saying that to myself as I do the drill. And then I'll do that a couple of swings, I'll step up, I'll get set in there, get my weight left, elevate the club a little bit, and then I'll just in my head just say it, right, left, and I'll hit the shot. Now what's gonna happen is your tempo's gonna increase. Your club head speed is going to increase, your balance, everything is going to improve, you're going to hit the golf ball further down the fairway. Now, as an add to this drill, this is a little bit more advanced, but this is something that probably a lot of you out there, you could probably handle. You can actually, when you say the right left, lift the opposite foot up. Okay, so work with me a little bit here as we go through this. So I'm set in, right? So I'm left. This is exaggerated, but this is to get the feel of the rhythm and the tempo and how you can increase that tempo to increase club head speed. So when I'm left, notice my left, my right foot's just ever so slightly off the ground. Now when I say right, I lift my right foot. And then when I go left, I lift that one. All right, so I just lift the opposite foot that I say. So I'm, I'm saying to myself, left, right foot's off. Right, left, right, left. Okay, so you'll notice that the opposite foot is just coming off the ground. Now that's a little, it takes a little bit work, but that can really help you get a sense of what we're talking about. So next time we head to the golf course, I don't want you to slow your tempo down. And if people are telling you that, I want you to ask yourself, why would I slow down? Why do I want to hit the ball shorter distance? Number one is it's not any fun. And number two is it's certainly not going to help you shoot better scores if you hit the ball shorter distance. What we want to do is we want to be in balance, but we want to have good tempo consistent tempo and tempo that is relatively quick so that we can have a nice solid club head speed that allows us to hit the golf ball down the fairway. So this little tip here is going to help you play better golf, improve your tempo, and help you start hitting the golf ball as far as possible.